I've always had an interest in medical matters, even from an early age. And I also had an interest in Eastern thought, Eastern religions, Eastern philosophy. So originally, I found acupuncture and uh, studied acupuncture, practiced acupuncture for a few years. And then I came across a book on homeopathy and read it and somehow it, it rang a lot of bells in my head and uh, I realized almost instantly that uh, homeopathy was what I wanted to do. So, uh, and then in synchronicity things happen and the very next week somebody introduced me to a homeopath by chance and uh, he was running a study group. So I started going and then they started the first homeopathic college, which I enrolled in. And that's how I got into homeopathy, basically. In a sense, it was a bit like falling in love because when I first encountered homeopathy, everything I read seemed to ring true what I already knew on some deeper level in my being. Um, it just, it just, resonated as basically being absolutely true and um, so I think you could say the purpose in life is to find you know your passion and the meaning is to share that passion so uh, that's why I teach and I love teaching plus the fact when you teach you learn so much as well Homeopathy is a bit like a, a journey with no final destination, which is the other thing that appeals to me, is that you're continually learning and expanding your understanding. Uh, and understanding, I think, is a very important word because homeopathy is not just about treating sick people or treating diseases. For me, homeopathy is a complete philosophy of life. Uh, it, it explains so many things in life, people's behaviour, events in the world, and also the hidden undercurrents of world affairs. And so basically, it's, it's a constant knowledge of exploration and discovery, and it continually fascinates me. Well, to be a student of homeopathy, I think the first thing is an open mind. You can't come here and expect to fit homeopathy into your personal belief structure. You have to sit and absorb and, and test in practice. Don't just accept what's told you, but actually look around you, look at your pet friends and everybody else and what's happening in the world and test homeopathy against that. It's about the truth of things, how things really are, how things really work. And it's about basic principles and laws of how the universe is governed. Homeopathy is a system that is based on an understanding of natural law and using those principles to understand what actually disease is. Yeah, I joined, I joined the school in uh, 1981 and I've been a teacher here ever since that time. And uh, I think there's a very special atmosphere here. I think there's a uh, atmosphere of um, shared passion uh, and the interaction between the students and myself is very, very good here. There's, there's, a, there's an openness, I think that's probably the best word to use. There's, a, there's an openness and a willing to look at things with fresh eyes. And this school has, in a sense, not uh, stayed in the past but has willingly absorbed all these different influences from different homeopathic teachers and incorporated them into the syllabus. So it gives a chance to, again, continually explore new ideas and uh, exchange of information. I've had various practices in different parts of uh, England. Um, I even had a practice in Ireland for a while, but I've moved around a lot of my life. So <laughs> uh, I suppose my main practice has always been centered around London. And 
that's why I still practice. The beauty of homeopathy is that it doesn't treat diseases, it treats sick people. So basically, it's almost like being a GP. Anybody can come to see you for homeopathic treatment. And so that means young children, babies, pregnant women, adolescents, middle-aged people, old people. There's a whole range of people come to see me with a great variety of, of problems, both psychological problems and physical problems. So um, there isn't only one thing that I, that I treat with homeopathy. It's basically, it's almost like being a GP, I suppose, on one level. Homeopathy is a part of who I am, it's part of my understanding of life. And the fact that I can actually use it to help other people's lives and actually cure, cure sickness, help people, um, that's the joy, it's the feedback. It's not just a philosophy, but it's an incredibly practical philosophy and one that gets results. Otherwise, why practice it? Why would you do something for 40 years and get no results? The results sometimes are miraculous. And that's a fantastic experience when you're a homeopath, when you see somebody come to see you in a desperate state or very sick or very ill, physically or mentally or both. And then over the period of months as you're treating them, to see them unfold and get better and become who they were meant to be. It's an incredibly rewarding experience.